Okay, we're going to talk about some important array methods that we need to write. And one of the main reasons we want to practice, in addition to just getting good at arrays, is that these methods are going to help be helpful for you on your soccer scheduling lab, which is uh, the first really large, complicated lab that I'm giving you this year. And so uh, first thing I want you to do is uh, go into the array project that we have open already and add this printed array utility method that I wrote, which basically allows us to just print the array. I just realized I made a mistake here. Let me, uh, this way it'll print all on one line. Utility method for printing the array. And we're gonna just need that to make sure that our code is working. So what we'll do is we'll print the array, we'll rotate the array, then we'll print it again and see if the rotation worked as we wanted. And this is the array rotation that we're going to do first. It's called rotate left. Create an array. I'm going to print it before I rotate it. Then I'm going to rotate it. And then I'm going to print it again after I rotate it to see if the rotation worked correctly or not. Now, before we get to all this rotation business, I want to go back and review something that we had discussed all the way at the beginning of the year. If I have these two variables, Discuss with your partner, what would I need to do to swap them? Let's say I didn't know what was inside them. Could I just go like this? Could I just go X equals Y and Y equals X? Will that work? If that won't work, then describe to your partner, what do I need to do in order to make it work? How do I swap the two variables? Mr. Angad, sir, do you remember all the way back in the first week of school, I showed you how to swap variables? Okay, sir, what would you recommend I do here? Okay, very good, sir. I'm gonna call the third variable my helper variable, and what should I set it to? Okay, keep going, you're doing great so far, sir. Now what do I do? Okay, I do y equals x, and then what's the last line, sir? And this is the right sequence for swapping two variables. Try to keep that in mind as we go through the rest of today's lesson. Okay, let's get back to our original problem of rotating. Here's basically what I want. Let me start with a simpler array. I'll start with this one. And so if I was to print the array right now, let's run this. You can see that it prints the array uh, left to right like that. What I want to do in my rotate method is I want to rotate the array so after one rotation, it looks like this. You can see that all the numbers have been rotated to the left, except for this first number, which has been moved all the way to the back of the array to make room. So that's what an array rotation looks like. If I was going to rotate this array again to the left, it would look like this. You can see all the numbers here have been pushed one position to the left, and this number has been brought over to the far right. So what I want to do is I want to write a method that rotates the array. Remember that when you're past the array, you don't know how big it is. So you're going to need to ask it how many elements you have. I want you to work with your partner for the next 10 minutes or 15 minutes to see if you can write this rotate method here. And you'll be able to tell if it works or not because you're going to run it 